Adam actually has three PhDs, but they're in science, not footsies. So he doesn't have a long, complicated move set of combos and normal attacks. It's it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple, and it's not where it excels. But there's a few that I want to show. His down three is actually awesome. The chemistry kick? Can you go down yeah. again? Just down. Yeah, I mean... I literally saw the trailer. Yeah, let's not bury the lead here. This is his crouch animation. It's pretty much the best crouch animation in the history of fighting games. He's so cute. Yeah, so his down three is awesome and has really good range, and it, it goes down very, very low. A, a reoccurring theme with Adam is how good he is at low profiling things, and this is just excellent. Like, it'll go under a lot of attacks, and it's definitely a great down three. Cool. His forward two is also pretty good. It's this triple punches. Well? It's advancing, it's safe on block, and you can do moves at the end of it. Like, you can go into special moves, which we'll show later. And then I think another core normal is his back one. It's a low attack, it's relatively fast, and the rest of the string is really cool. It's a little movement out of it too. Yeah. A little movement? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so he'll actually shrink down, and he can go into his character power. Yeah, this, that's what we'll be showing parts. later. Yeah, you can, you can do that. There's there's two separate uh, strings you can do that with, because you also have the uh, the other one, this one here. Where he goes down with an overhead. Yep. yep. <clears throat> Fabulous. What else have we got, Steve? So let's talk about where he excels, which is his special moves. And he has a really unusual mix of special moves. He does have a fireball. It's pretty decent. Um, it's a high, it's fast, and the meter burn version is very good because it actually captures them. I want to say, like, you say that like all of his special moves are very interesting and weird, right? When I first played him, I was like, how do these all connect together? Yes. Like, I couldn't figure it out. And yes. the more I played him, I'm like, they fit together perfectly the way they work. We can explain a little bit more about that later. Absolutely. But yeah. like they seem disparate, but they're not. Yeah, it, it it's very much a hodgepodge that really comes together when the better you get with them. So this fireball can go into a capture state, so you can actually use it to win trades. Like if you think they're gonna do a fireball, you do it. Kind of like Sub Zero's Ice Blast. Right. Or you can use it up close. Like you can just commit to it, and that'll be a low combo starter if you don't want to go into his character power. Or don't want to just complete the string. I definitely think for me when I play him, using it uh, up close, like in combo, is usually the best way you want to do it. Because if you do it full screen and you capture, you don't get a lot off of it. Yeah. You can get, get maybe one more gunshot or a meter burn teleport, but that doesn't give you much damage. And that's going to be another reoccurring thing, that his damage is not really the highest. He has a lot of really good, really... Uh, He's got a lot of tools. Yeah, a lot of tools for every situation, but he's not going to do a lot of damage for the most part. Sure. So... To complement the fireball, he also has really good counter zoning tools. He has a teleport, where he'll shrink down, then get big again. And the meter burn version actually hits. And because it hits from behind, it'll be an instant cross up. He does not get a combo unless it's in the corner, and it is full combo punishable. And you'll notice it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's very, very fast and very hard to block, and it's gonna force the opponent to either eat a bunch of them or sit there and crouch block, which then opens up the rest of his game. He can then go in, jump in, do his fireball, whatever he wants to do. Well, and I'm going, I'm sure, off the next thing you're probably going to show, the like where he uses the gravity. It, like, yes. just, man, it makes me so mad. Do it, just do it. So then he has his gravity belt, where he actually increases the density so that he floats. That's science. Mm -hmm. That's science. And then he can actually do it multiple times to change his jump arc, and at any point, he can do his other moves. So like you said, this complements his teleport. He can do that, the opponent's like, oh, I don't want to answer him because he might float, and then all of a sudden, whoop, yeah. he you teleports also, behind him. You can also go into your character power from that, too. Correct. It's you can so go into your tricky. character power, you can go into a jump attack, and this will cut up, keep up your, your key mix-up of, like, you're jumping with a jump three, which is super hard to anti-air, but then they're getting ready and they're going to anti-air it, and then you go into the float, and then you can go behind them. There's all kind of mix-ups. And you can do normal attacks out of it as yes. well, too. You can do combos into it. That's so cool. He also has a ground pound. Full screen ground pound. It's a low. he gets big a little bit. Yeah, he gets big for just a little bit. Getting big actually takes a huge toll on the bio belt, and that's why he doesn't do it very often. It's for serious, serious situations. If you meter burn it, it does the same damage, but it actually becomes an unblockable. Oh, wow. And in my opinion, this move is actually... Uh, I would say it's like dastardly fast. Like it's it's way more faster than you'd think. Well, it's confusing because because you're you're looking for is it a teleport or is it a stomp? Exactly. I think one of the things you see on paper, like oh, an, uh, a ground pound, I'll just jump. 
but it looks very, very similar to the teleport. So in my opinion, this is a great, really trolly, like uh, early game mix up. Or all, or all block low, the regular, and then you yeah. can meet like them. Yep. There's like three different things that can possibly happen. Exactly. And that's one of the things that complements his fireball that and his jumping. That and, and a thing that we talk about here too, when you talk about all the moves coming together, doing the stomp, doing the fireball, doing the, the teleport, might not be getting you tons of damage, but you're waiting out your character power to get your small Which guy is, back. And that's what we're gonna go through, yeah. His yeah. character power is is definitely the bread and butter of this character, and mm -hmm. a lot of his game plan is gonna be based on waiting it out because the cooldown is pretty long. Yeah, and well, it's also a thing where you're right, it all complements each other, and he's gonna be hitting you a ton for low damage. So the stomp's not a lot of damage, the teleport's not a lot of damage, you hit three though, that's 30%. That adds up. Yeah, it and adds up. It's definitely interesting, like, and we talked, we, people saw the trait, or the character power, pardon me, on uh, the trailer, and the thing is about that is like, there's much more meta game to it than you would probably understand. Yes. So, uh, oh, and back forward too. You've seen this in the trailer a lot. And you can attach that to the end of every. Yeah, it's a great whiff punisher, it's a great anti-air, it's a great combo under, and if you meter burn it, they're in a capture state, right. and you can do a full Just combo. Extend. Now, so, if, if, now if he's ducking, say. It's a high. Show him, the, yeah, so this is interesting because it's, it's, it's punishable, right? It's not a wake up. On block, it is punishable, and on whiff, it's punishable, but a lot of times, he'll go the super far away. So much, yeah. And Could there's a hard. thing about him that he's just a very confusing character because like, can you punish when he comes out on trade? Can you punish this correctly? It's like, the timings are all so strange. And so yeah, the things that are can... confusing too with him is that he has combos where he goes into being little and you don't know if he's going into character power or if he's doing the combo and it's just like, man! So one more special move to show, which again, really shows that he doesn't break down into any particular archetype. It's Science! Science! He has these beakers, and he can throw them down, and this actually does dot damage. It'll stay on screen for quite a while. If the opponent walks into it, it'll do dot damage. But he has other moves, too. Depending on the direction, this one will actually make it so they can't jump. It's like Abigail's Garden. Green Arrow cannot jump right now. Mm -hmm. And a third one will actually drain super move, super super meter if you're standing in it. But that's not all. Tell me more, Steve. Through the power of chemistry. Chemistry? He's able to throw this beaker down, and it will mix with his vials. No. So that's actually explode, and now he has a poisonous gas cloud that does significant. Now, something's cool, like, just throw it down real quick. I do that one. I do his throw. Cancel. No, do, right. Yeah, do his throw, because his throw doesn't move. So he's stuck in that. Yes, like, for a lot quite of a long move time. The person. His throw stays stationary. So like, you do the meter burn version, he's going to take... Well, Look at that. That's Whoa. big damage. Wow. That's big science damage. Big science. Now That's Harvard damage. Now the, the risk reward of this is there's two moves to make this happen. Right. He has to... The setup is there. Yes. And usually you cannot special cancel a special move like cancel the recovery. He actually can. You can see he does it very, very fast. And he can do this with all of them. So they each do different things. If you have the blue out, he'll actually push this goo. And if you meter burn it, the goo will actually put them in the capture full state. screen and show it. It's really cool. The animators did an amazing job on this. Yeah, that's but awesome. That's, that's awesome. smart goo. Yep. Smart goo. And then the red one causes a huge explosion that will actually pop them up. Woo! And he and gets a free back You there. don't need to use meter for the pop-up either. Right, you do you not. The, the, the meter just makes the pop-up even higher. That's awesome. There's also something that is like probably not used a lot, but maybe start use, is you can actually cancel strings into... The uh, react the, the catalyst. Right? Yeah, you can do the catalyst by itself, and that's just a low. It's kind of a low damaging, but it's a low, and you get a knockdown if you use meter. Yep. So in my opinion, there's two key uses for the science moves. Number one is actually to just hide behind it. It's a great time waster. Sure. If your character power is about halfway through cooldown, you can actually put the green one down and just hide behind it. And this actually does a ton of dot damage, and you can actually like you can get them out really quickly. If, if you have the con opponent condition not to zone because of again, yeah, the counter zoning tools we've shown. For that one, it's just down back three, down four, and three. Yeah. All in one motion, and it pops out. And I think the second use would be setups. Like the throw, the throw's a great example. In the corner, it can really add up. And I think cutting your combo short, doing like a down two into it, can be really effective. And the opponent's going to be sitting in it, and they're going to be taking a bunch of dot damage. Mm -hmm. So his throw is awesome. Just goes into your little ear there. <laughs> and this character. His throw, which you were going to talk about in a second, has a lot more utility than a lot of other throws. Yes, it does. 
one point I want to make before we go on the character power, yeah. though. I love the audio actually cutting out like you're hearing. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Like it hurts their audio. So his character power is he goes sub-atomic and actually shrinks down. And from here, he has a full move list. He can, he can even move around. He can jump. He can air dash. He has multiple attacks. Yes. Anti-air move, this move, oh, that's which the is the, fun probably move. the funnest thing in the history of video games. He has a low, he has an overhead, and like Tyler said, he can actually do his throw from this. And that will come in handy. Yes, so. Oh, first of all, you can also like instant overhead too. <laughs> yes, yeah. Really cool. His jump three is an overhead, so he can do it instantly. And he could just run away. It is arguably the most annoying thing in the history of fighting. Yes, absolutely is. This is one of those awesome, one of the things <coughs> I love about Injustice is these character powers where they just completely change the way the character plays. Right. When he has this up, he's in control, he's doing whatever he wants, you gotta hold that. Now, he can get knocked out of it. He can get knocked out of it. Now, a lot of people noticed in the trailer, Joker was having a hard time knocking out of it. Things change in development. It's now a little bit easier to knock him out. It's not easy, he is gonna go under a lot of stuff, he will go under highs. He will go under a lot of mids. It's very, he is it's tiny. It's hard to catch him. Like it's it's hard to knock him out for sure. Like he's yeah, gonna... it is very hard. Catwoman is jealous, but he can't be hit out of it. If you're trying to like do it on wake up, that's a you're probably gonna get knocked out of it. Yeah, and that will reset your timing. Yes, so it'll start the entire clock over. So you gotta be careful. So here's how the cooldown actually works. You'll see it starts to drain. Any time he can hit character power and he comes back. Now you notice the bio belt actually goes into a cooldown. During this time, he can be punished, but it's very, very quick. You, the opponent kind of has to be ready for it. So let's say he like ends this combo and he backs off. Green Arrow probably won't have enough time to go in. Right. Or if you do your throw, you actually instantly negate it, cooldown begins, and he doesn't go through the bio belt thing at all. So that's the metagame. Do you want to keep doing damage and maybe take some damage on the back end? Or do you want to try to get a throw out? But you can break the throw. But look at this. If you let it go all the way, he is actually stunned for a long time, and right. my grandma could get a punish. Right. Like, that's tough. So, the metagame here is you don't want, you want to use it as much as you can. You want to go for the mix ups, the chip damage, the throw, but you don't want it to last all the way or you're in serious trouble. You want to take it to where you're about 70% using it. Now you're looking for your escape plan, which could be, you can, I mean, you plan, what, what's the kind of stuff you look for? I like to use things like, like if I'm doing, so, you know, you do this kind of thing, I missed him, so I play him, obviously. I try to do it in, in the air, I feel yeah. like doing it out of the air really, uh, really helps things. So, you know, boom, 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 and now I'm, I'm looking to do it, now I'm safe. So yeah. This is a really good character down. for Tyler, because he just has to press one button to it's, do a 11 hit combo. I, I would argue this tops Raiden's 4-3 bounce cancel is the most fun. There are going to be fans who go into training mode and just do 2-2-2-2-2 two, 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 two oh, for like 20 minutes straight. I, I just sat and did it in Paul's office when it started. Yeah, to it's... Up, and I was just like, this is the most fun. We are trying to see how many times you could do it before and then go into super. I would argue, in the history of fighting games, the ratio of ease of execution to looking cool and fun, this is it. Yeah. This is the best it thing wins. ever designed in a fighting game. So yeah, the meta here is extremely deep because he has, he can just, if the opponent's just gonna block, you're like, oh, I don't wanna, I'm just gonna crouch block, right? The chip is gonna add up. It's actually pretty decent. And at any time, you can stop, Drop. go for the throw. Or if go the, for the low there too. Yeah, you could also go for the low, then you can go for the overhead, and then you get the meta of the opponent reads the throw and they're gonna do their own throw, mm -hmm. or they're gonna do like a down one to hit you out of it. And then he, instead of doing the throw, he, what did you start doing? Pause for a second, yeah. then go back to mashing too. Yeah, there, there's a lot of meta to it. Uh, they can also take the throw. Yes, if they think it's coming, they can yes. take the throw. Um, so there's a lot of things going on there. There's a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and you know, truthfully, you, we have played a lot of matches. You and I. There's been times where like I throw it out there and realize, oh, I'm not getting damage out of this. Bail out. So I bail out immediately. Yep. Like might not get any damage at all, but like I don't want to take. You know, because Steve, you know, he's played professionally. Like if, if I mess that up, I'm I'm taking more damage than I dealt. Yeah, I, so to me, at, at the high level of play, he's going to be all about his character power and the application of it on both sides. The Atom player is going to have to make a lot of guesses on when do you bail out, when do you go in, do you, when do you risk it. The opponent's going to have to sit there and do you actually take a risk and go for it, try to hit him out of it, try to jump around, try to avoid it. Maybe there's times you're like, hey, I have the life lead. I'm just going to take it and hold it. Check, Check out some loadouts, dude. Check out some loadouts. All right. Come yeah, on, I, man. I would just, while this is loading out, I, I cannot wait to see what he adds to the tournament level meta. He's one of those, a lot of times, 
I used to be good. I work on the game. I can kind of predict how it's going to play out. He's one of those where it's like, I have absolutely no idea. Like, we're just dropping a bomb in the middle of the meta. A He's science bomb. A, a science bomb. bomb. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So here's him so, trying to be cocky in front of Green Arrow by dressing the same. Yes. That's rude. And I gave him two moves. The first is Massive Attack, where he increases the density of his fist and does this big death punch, this death blow. You can see his fist there. It actually gets the... The density fist. density fist. This is a good move because it's a fully invincible wake-up attack. Which is something we didn't talk about. Yes, his teleport is his wake-up attack, but it's good. It's really fast. It's somewhat invincible, but it's pretty easy to punish, and there's a lot of ways that you can, like, go on offense, but then actually punish it if he does teleport. Like, it's got a lot of holes. It's not the world's greatest wake-up. So, if you're emo about that, you can equip this, and boom, knock a full screen. I also gave him the force field, where he rubs his bio belt, and then, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does. It's more of an adjustment, Yeah, it's right? an, he adjusts his bio belt, I and now- you couldn't say, you, your voice started cracking up. <laughs> he rubs his bio belt. Because I was thinking, should I say this? I shouldn't, then I did. So this will actually absorb projectiles, and if you meter burn it, it can hit the opponent. But what's really cool about this move, the real reason I wanted to show it is it works with character power, and you can see he's got the little shield. <laughs> That's just the most fun thing ever. It's adorable. Yeah. This will replace his teleport, but if you're getting zoned out really badly, the teleport's not doing enough damage for you, you can put that on and then just go ham, go in with your character power, and no projectile's gonna hit you out of it. No. That's so, awesome. one more loadout. Ooh. This is my uh, casual Adam, where he does not have a face visor yeah, on. Yeah. And it's, it's a tournament. No, this is Electrum. This, this is seven. Electrum, yeah. Yes. So, with this, I gave him the Meter Burn Fireball changes to be this long bean, and will actually make the opponent grow. That's so cool. There's also an optional way to, to shrink them. So, this is actually a better one. It's even better for trades. It's even better if they try to ant there or because it's at bean. But honestly, let's just be real here. It makes them grow. That's Which why I awesome. selected it. Yeah, that is so Which awesome. Which does nothing. I it mean, just it, looks it's amazing. extremely funny, so that's something. And then the second one changes his character power. Instead of shrinking, you actually pull objects out of his bio belt that he can use as interactables. And there are multiple ones, it's randomly chosen, and they have different properties. Like that one will actually stun him, and then he gets a combo. One thing I wanted to point out that I forgot. You'll notice, he's the first character in Fighting the History where he does not pull his props out of nothing. He, if you look closely, it's pre-shrunk in the bio belt, and he's pulling it out, growing it, then putting it back in. Even his one one two. Is that, is that lore? That's lore. No, it's you can lore. just see it. Look. Yeah, watch the one one two. Yeah, one one two. He's he pulling out a microscope, and then he puts it away. Yeah. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. It's good design. A lot. So I think we have one thing left. Super someone, someone just said that's ducking cool. Someone just got auto corrected hard. In Ooh. Twitch. <laughs> so super move. Super move. His is unique because the N two. I'll just do it and it won't hit. You can see he goes a little, he hits twice, but it's really cool because he can actually do it from his character power. See how many hits you can get first. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, this is terrible. You're not even really trying, like, to get multiple hits. <laughs> this is... All right, there oh, we go. There wow, we go. that was amazing. All right. <laughs> this has to be one of the coolest, right? Love it. That's awesome. Yeah, so, so it's a very unique uh, Super N2, and he's using character power, and they keep hitting you out, and you have four bars. Light them up. If he does have the corpse in the pot. Okay, wait, did he just shrink for his duck? Cause that is legit. And then he has a levitation move. 